Hello, everyone, and welcome to this on-demand webinar presented by Comsco. Our topic today is Ruckus Cloud Path Enrollment System, Secure Network Access for Any User and Any Device and Any Network. It's all about getting BYOD and guest users, as well as IT-owned devices, connected to the network quickly, easily, and securely. You can think of this as a basic product overview, and we've got a little over 15 minutes worth of presentation material. My name is Vern Schur. I'm the product marketer for this product here at Comsco. There's a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's begin by establishing some context about the product category that we're talking about here. Secure network access, or stated another way, network access security for BYOD and guest users who bring their personal devices into your environment, smartphones, tablets, personal laptops, and expect to be able to connect to the network quickly and easily. They're not thinking so much about the security piece, but IT teams typically are or should be. So secure network access or network access security is a product category that's all about getting these users connected as quickly and easily as possible, but also making sure that they do so securely. Let's examine some of the challenges around secure network onboarding or this process by which users gain access to the network for the first time with the new device. The first challenge is user experience around the onboarding authentication process. The enterprise environment's a lot more complex than your home Wi-Fi, where you probably just enter the password one time and, and forget about it. You connect automatically after that. But in an enterprise environment, there are multiple SSIDs that you may need to connect to as you move about the environment. You come into the environment with five devices uh, if you're an end user, and as you move about the environment, you may you may be asked to re-authenticate if you lose connectivity even for just a moment. And so there are a lot of user experience issues that emanate from this, and these end up being IT help desk issues because those users, when they have trouble getting connected, say they mistype a password, a Wi-Fi password, for example, or they, you know, it's easy to do that on a small screen if you're choosing, you know, good passwords with complex uh, so, you know, special characters and capitals and numbers and so on, that's going to end up on the desk of the IT help desk as a help desk ticket, and it pulls IT from focus away from focusing on more strategic projects. So the user experience issues that users experience end up being help desk tickets for IT, so big headaches there. And worse still, the default mechanisms that organizations typically use for getting users connected are fraught with a variety of security issues that really place your comp your confidential data and your the network itself as risk at risk and we're going to examine those in a little bit more detail in the next slide so the default methods for network onboarding or getting users connected for the first time and authenticating them are not secure. And these typical default methods are MAC authentication and conventional PSKs, which you're probably familiar with. Now, each of these has some security flaws that's, that's unique to it, but they also share some security flaws. In the case of MAC authentication, traffic over the air, wireless traffic between the device and the access point is not encrypted, and so it's subject to being spied upon by prying eyes using commercially available network analysis tools. Moreover, MAC addresses are easy to spook, so a hacker could gain access to your network if you're using this method by pretending to be a, a user who belongs there, essentially, by spoofing their MAC address. Now, in the case of conventional PSKs, those can be shared by your users with anyone, including people who don't belong on your network, or they could take it with them when they leave the organization or no longer have a valid reason for connecting to your network. And there's no way to revoke access when they, when they no longer have it, that relationship with the organization. And the fact that they can share it is a problem, um, is a problem inherently and no way to revoke is an additional problem on top of that. So there's no way to change that PSK without disrupting access for everybody on the network. You can't exactly, it wouldn't be a security best practice to send out an email saying, here's the new Wi-Fi password, for example. Uh, you wouldn't do that. Uh, and so you, there's a temptation to not change it at all. And that's obviously a, a problem from a security perspective as well. Now there's no way to associate, in both of these methods, there's no way to associate a user with a specific device, a specific user with a device, and no way to apply granular policy controls for role-based access so that users only get the right level of access. And also no upfront posture check, no remediation of any security issues found on the device during a posture check, because there's no posture check and no way to remediate. So lots of security problems with these default methods. and 
There's a way to fix this though, to plug these security holes. And you probably won't be surprised to hear that we have a product that does just that. And that product is called Cloud Path Enrollment System. And it's software or SaaS, your choice, that delivers secure network access for any user in any device on any network. And that any network part is especially important because it means you don't have to swap out your wired and wireless network infrastructure to use this system for secure network onboarding. You can use, the, you, you can use your existing wireless infrastructure from any standards-based vendor. We have customers who are ruckus, wired and wireless, and customers that this is the only product they own from, from, uh, from Comscope Ruckus. Let's examine in more detail the security features in Cloud Path Enrollment System. And I don't want to give anything away here, but you may notice that these map to the security flaws that are intrinsic to the default methods of network onboarding and authentication that we, that we covered just a moment ago. The first security measure is that we secure data in transit over the air with powerful encryption. This is data that's flowing over the Wi-Fi connection between the device and the access point. We encrypt that so that it's not subject to being spied on by prying eyes. We're also able to use digital certificates as the basis for network authentication so that only approved users gain access to the network and you're able to keep out users who don't belong there. Users only see the network resources that they should see because we have the ability with this product to apply, define and apply policies through your network infrastructure for enforcement of your network infrastructure for role-based access. So this is the centralized policy management platform that then is enforced through your network infrastructure so that users only get the right level of access depending upon their relationship and their role in the organization. Guest users, for example, typically get internet access only. We're also able with this product to make sure that devices are safe before they're allowed to connect with a posture check for baseline security measures, things like for employee laptop, is anti-malware software installed and are the signatures current, for example, or a pin code enabled on a personal tablet or a personal smartphone. We give you increased IT control because you have device visibility over devices on the network and what user is associated with that with each device with the ability to reach in in a very pinpoint manner and revoke access when necessary. For example, when somebody leaves the organization, you don't want them still having access to your network environment. Let's look at the other, the other uh, piece of the value that this product provides. And it all has to do with the onboarding process itself or this process by which users gain access to the network for, with a new device uh, for, for the first time. And the, basically they're able to go through an intuitive self-service onboarding process depending on a different, slightly different workflow that you're able to define based upon BYOD internal users or guest users that are just you know, there for the day in your environment. They go through an onboarding process guided by the self-service portal, which is customizable. We're gonna look, take a little example of this on the next slide. The day one process, a one-time process, and then after that, they're able to connect automatically in, and authenticate in a process that is entirely transparent to the user. So it's really just a day one onboarding process and on day two, you know, they're good to go. Next up, let's look at a quick example of a typical network onboarding process using Cloud Path Enrollment System. What you see here is a network onboarding portal that you can use Cloud Path to create, and everything you see on the screen here is entirely customizable. So this includes everything from the text on the screen to the background image, the logo, the terms and conditions, everything you see here, including even the start button, which is how we initiate the process after agreeing to the terms and conditions. So we're doing an example here for an internal BYOD user who has an Active Directory account on the network. And what we're doing here, we're just gonna initiate the process and enter in our existing credentials. And it'll take us a second to do that. And once we do that, we go ahead and click continue. It recognizes that we're on a MacBook Pro and it's going to help us to download a zip package, which will in turn help us to install a digital certificate on the device that'll serve as the basis for network authentication from this point forward. So this is that day one process we were talking about just a moment ago. And we go out and look for that package. 
and we click on Cloud Path here. And you'll recognize this is a typical Mac installation process. It's going to prompt us for our password a couple of times, our Mac password. And this is a self-service. The user, we're, as the user, we are doing this ourselves, and IT doesn't have to get involved, doesn't have to intervene. Configuring the device in the background there, you see, and success. So self-service process, I as a user am able to get my Mac laptop connected without IT intervention. That's the day one process. And day two, I authenticate seamlessly and transparently. I don't have to go through this again and again, thanks to that digital certificate that has been installed on my device as part of the network onboarding process. Let's take a couple of moments to look at the benefits of Cloud Path enrollment system. First and foremost, it increases security for users, devices, data, and the network with the powerful security features we mentioned earlier in the presentation. It also streamlines network onboarding for end users so they don't have to go to IT with help desk tickets when they have trouble getting connected. And therefore, it reduces the burden on IT as well because they're not seeing those help desk tickets. Users are happy, IT is happy, and the network and data are more secure. What could be better? I want to take a couple of moments to go over some customer quotes from satisfied Cloud Path enrollment system customers. And the first one is for Forest Hills Public Schools, which is a large school district in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with about 10,000 students and 1,000 faculty and staff. And they're a records wireless infrastructure customer. But they also wanted to adopt a platform software to enable their BYOD program in the area of secure network onboarding. And here's a quote from Chris Alger, systems engineer, at Forest Hills, and he says Cloud Path gives us an easy way to attack, attach devices to our wireless network securely without manual intervention from IT. And here's another quote from a satisfied Cloud Path enrollment system customer, and this comes from District of Mission, which is a municipality, a municipal government of British Columbia, Canada. It's a little bit smaller deployment um, than the previous one. They have about 15 ruckus access points, 500 employees across 10 departments, and they also wanted to adopt a, a software to get users online with their devices, and they chose Cloud Path enrollment system. And here is a quote from Sean Green, Technical Services Supervisor at District of Mission. With Cloud Path Enrollment System, we have the best of all worlds, more granular security without the complexity and burden on information services. Employees and guests get the access they need, when and where they need it, on the devices they want to use. Another satisfied Cloud Path Enrollment System customer. And we're really headed uh, into the home stretch here, and I want to just point you to additional resources where you can learn more. The first go-to uh, call to action is always contact your reseller uh, who can help you understand more about this Ruckus Cloud Path Enrollment System product and what it can do for your organization. But if you would like to do some self-study, some additional research on your own, you can always go to ruckusnetworks.com slash secure access where you'll find a wealth of materials from data sheets to infographics much of it really just informational about the product category and the need for this type of security offering for your environment we have product overview video webinars customer case studies uh, a lot of resources support this product if you want to learn more on your own but but do contact your reseller when you're ready to take that next step and that ends our presentation material today. Thank you for your time and attention. And this webinar is presented on demand only, so we won't be fielding questions as part of the webinar. But I hope that we will welcome you as a Cloud Path Enrollment System customer in the near future. Thanks again for joining.